So let's talk about annoying things. We're going to talk about our hashtag BGOMG. So if you've just tuned in on this episode, BGOMG is board game. Oh my God. Things in the board game world that irritate you usually from what other people do or just typical stereotyping or stereotypical things or whatever. You can tweet this hashtag it, whatever BG OMG. This one's topic is using the word nerd. That's right. Matt, you start me start. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I I've, I've said before I work in a, uh, a blue collar industry. Lots of, um, lots of guys that, you know, they like to hunt. Uh, they like cars, uh, manly things, very manly things. Uh, I would say when I start talking <laughs> around them, I kind of get these blank looks cause I can't relate to them on a lot of things. Uh, but I also, I'm not just going to start talking to them about a board game in depth because I know that they're one, not going to really be interested. They'll sit there and nod at me out of respect. And two, they're just, they probably don't care. Yeah. But, um, you know, so I do kind of consider myself a nerd in that aspect there, but sometimes I catch them using that word and it's like using a word to, to be derogatory or using that word for themselves. No, they can call me that all they want. I don't care. But when they try and relate themselves, I think, I guess it's in a way so they can relate with me a little bit, but like I'm a basketball nerd. Yeah. It's like, uh, well, no, not even that it, they consider themselves nerds in the sense that it's like. Well, oh, I really like Lord of the Rings, so that that's my <laughs> inner nerdness, you know. Yeah, you know, and it's like, well, I mean, okay, trying to relate with me, I think, was what a lot of it has to do. Now, um, I do know a lot of people take. Hey, that's better than like twenty years ago. Yeah, well, that's what I was gonna say. You know, growing up, you know, you you know, playing games. Working nerd. on computers, nerd. nerd, read books outside nerd. of what the school tells you to, nerd, <laughs> you know, uh, got glasses, usually nerd, you know, all that stuff. And it was just, it put a target on you. You, you, uh, you, you usually got picked on. I'm sure a lot of people listening to this, if they're into board games, they probably went through a lot of this. They've experienced it in some way. Yeah. Uh, so I, I do understand some people get really upset when, people try and use that word on themselves and they didn't go through the, the struggle and air quotes. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm not quite there, which is great for audio. Yeah. Podcast. So I, I'm not quite to that point, but it, it's, it just kind of makes me laugh a little bit when guys use it on themselves and, and then they go turkey hunting. Yeah. I, and that's not to say that people who play board games don't hunt. I'm, I'm just saying <laughs> in, in a in a uh, stereotypical, right, yeah. normal, you know, manly kind of thing like that. It's it, it's interesting because I kind of not being like language semantics here, but I look up the, the the definition of nerd on Webster. OK. And it's well, one of the definitions, both the definitions I'm about ready to say all say like they dress like idiots, basically unfashionable things, blah, 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 blah. Yes. The second one is for nerd, a person who is very interested in technical subjects, computers, etc. Okay. The, the definition for geek is a person who is very interested in, uh, very interested in and knows a lot about a particular field or activity. Got to scroll over there. Yeah. Activity. So the, the what I'm saying is I think culture has kind of not use those definitions very they use them lightly yeah it's like nerd and geek are kind of interchangeable i guess and really they're kind of the same thing one's just talking about technical subjects and the other one's talking about knows a lot about a specific thing in that sense though isn't it the same thing the, well i don't know uh, the guys i work with are they geeks because they know so much about hunting Cause that's uh, one not, thing. They're not going to like that. No, exactly. But they know a lot about hunting and fishing and cars. Uh, I so would, they are geeks in that subject. Exactly. Exactly. But people just automatically assume geek and nerd are like derogatory terms or not really derogatory, but specific. I don't, you don't really see people or at least we don't experience it, but I mean, we're not in high school any, either. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like a lot of people are being like, Oh, he's such a nerd. Right. I feel like, 
with with the whole Big Bang Theory and other shows and stuff like that and, you know, tabletop and just a lot of things that are reaching a lot of people. I feel like geek is chic. Yeah. And being nerdy is great. And then that's completely different than what it was in the past. And I feel like some people are trying to, like, cope with that. They're like, oh, I'm kind of nerdy. I like Lord of the Rings. Exactly. Exactly what you were saying. And it's just kind of irritating when people throw around the word nerd and geek. First off, the the reason I feel like this is a BGM OMG for me is the fact that why do we need these stupid labels? Uh, yeah. They're not even necessary. I'm My name is Tim. Right. This is what I'm into. Right. I dress, I spike my hair, I do whatever. Some people are going to look at me and say, one person thought I looked kind of like mean. I guess like uh you know very conceited or something which right. I thought was like how do I, I do not give off any kind of persona that I'm conceited right but whatever and so but I never got anybody saying you look nerdy and so when I tell them all the stuff I'm into it's like wow you like a lot of nerdy things I'm like that's fine I mean at least they're not giving me a I don't know I I guess the thing is I hate titles yeah. Which is why I call myself the Metal Meeple. Yes. Because I, I, I want a title. <laughs> you want a title. Yeah. yeah. I'm a hypocrite. And, and you know, it's funny, too. You, you talk about uh, not being in high school today. But, like I said, computers, everyone uses them now. I mean, they're oh, yeah. everywhere. Tech is everywhere. All your jocks are using iPhones. I guarantee you. I work in IT, right? I've been doing IT since 2001. And recently like in the past seven to eight years or so like for instance my last job my manager was straight up a hockey player wow okay that is his major hobby was a hockey player and he's an it manager and when i mean it manager i mean like he rose through the ranks yes it's not like he's a manager that got thrown into an it manager position and was managing it people he was an it engineer And moved into the rank of manager. So he knew what we were doing and knew how to do it. And he would give us more efficiencies and things like that. He was pretty intelligent as he was in management that kind of died off a little bit. But he was, I knew him before that. I mean, I knew him when he was a a technician, basically. And he was doing the thing, right? But like literally, hockey, basketball, football, that is all he talked about. Right. I remember being in school and stuff and then people talking about that stuff and you're, you're like, okay, I don't, you know, he's going to go work on cars now. Right. You know, being stereotypical, which, but you know what? I'm super happy. I love the one thing I did in high school is that I would, and it kind of helped that most of my friends grew up together. Like my class came from elementary school to high school. So a lot of the people in our class, we knew. Right. So I was friends with a lot of football people. I was friends with a lot of chess players. I was friends with people in the drama. I was friends with everybody. Right. I pretty much knew everybody. I had, I literally cannot tell you a time when somebody hated me. And I I feel like everybody always has these stories where they always got in arguments or fights and things like that. Maybe I did, but it was probably over something stupid with a friend. Right. But I never had people come up to me and literally pick on me because of the way I dressed or the way I was and the person I was. I just, I knew everybody. And I like that. I, I feel like the more we mesh as a society and just drive these labels down, the more uh, the better off we are. And that, that leads me to one thing, and I'll let you talk, but the titles thing, I also feel like another BGOMG that we're going to do in the future is this Ameritrash and Euro uh, game thing. Yes. Like, quit it. Quit it. This is stupid. Because you're doing the same thing with this whole nerd thing. That people are doing that we're irritated with. Right. I just, ah. Uh, yeah. We'll come back to that. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and it's, uh, like I said, I always, I've, I'd still enjoy beating the same drum, drawing parallels. It's, you know, you had you had your kids sitting in the corner reading the comic book. You know, I really like Superman. Well, that's geeky and nerdy. You go to the comic book store, oh, they take your book, you know, throw your books on the ground or something. Let me give, give me your comic book. I'll rip it up. People Look, are like that because they want attention. You know, I, I I get that, but I'm just saying now what even stereotyping who was doing that action is going and watching superhero movies. Who doesn't like yeah, the Avengers? I mean, it's it's everybody super likes it. Yes. Yeah. So and uh, you know, it now I will say there there was uh I think two people I worked with that I could relate with because one of them loved Warcraft. 
and you could come over and all say, I think I was there, the easy person for him to talk to because I don't know uh, this specific person. He read like Terry Goodkind and stuff like that. Everyone plays Warcraft. Exactly. But World of Warcraft. Yeah. And uh, so he'd come talk to me about that. Uh, he recently played Witcher, you know, so he, he would always usually come in because no one else there is going to know what he's talking about. So there, it was usually times like that. And honestly, it actually helps a lot when people need help with their kids because <laughs> they'll come ask me about video games and stuff like that so i mean i i do get my i guess my helpfulness there because I, I am helping them it's like you know you heard about this new lego game coming out oh yeah blah blah blah, blah. Yeah, let me tell you everything yeah, let me tell you all ever love or no steer clear of that because this is coming out soon just don't worry about that or that's a little much i don't know if your kid's old enough to play something like that so yeah the, I, i've literally it's really weird because people will approach me in a store and say do you know anything about this? And I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> Let me show you. Yeah. And it's it's really cool. I like helping people like that. Yeah. I mean, I don't give off the presence of nerdiness and stuff. Like I'll be uh, I'll be hanging around like computer stuff at like Best Buy or whatever. And sometimes randomly somebody will ask me, do you know anything about that? I'm like, I pretty much know a lot of this stuff. Right. And they're like, oh, and I help them probably better than the uh, Best Buy employees. <laughs> I'm being like self-serving at this point, but whatever. Poor kids. Anyway, I forgot what I was gonna. Oh, what I was saying. Point is, stop using titles. Yeah. You know. I mean, I know everybody likes to make fun of hipsters too, <laughs> 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 which is hilarious because I feel like hipster is the new nerd of like the 20s or grunger and things like that. Yeah. I mean, hipster is the new thing to make fun nah, of. Ah, grunger. Thing. Grunger. I heard, I heard yeah. that a lot in high school. <laughs> <laughs> we just made some people feel old. Yeah. Because I don't think that's used anymore. No, it's not. Yeah. Anyway, stop using titles. Yeah. 